Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I am back with another lecture in the OS series. In the last lecture, we learned about distributed as well as clustered operating system. In this particular video, we would be learning about embedded operating system. So without any further ado, let's get started. So an embedded operating system is designed to run specific tasks in embedded devices such as cars, washing machines or medical equipment. It is perfect for the devices that don't need a full computer operating system but just need to perform certain tasks reliably and quickly. So basically it is best for the devices that does not need a full computer operating system. It can perform certain tasks reliably and quickly. So basically it is getting used in washing machines, car where we need to just perform certain tasks. So washing machine is controlled by an embedded system that manages its operation based on the user input sensors and timings. Now how it works, so these systems are highly specialized and the operating system is designed to be lightweight and fast for specific functions. Example, controlling a washing machine cycle. So basically, uh, whenever we want to control a washing machine cycle or like how many cycles will be there in the washing machine, we can use this kind of operating system there. Now, they often have limited resources like memory or processing power as it's not a full-fledged computer operating system. So they have some limited resources like memory and processing power and are very efficient in handling a specific task. So whenever we need to handle a specific task which does not require so many of resources, we can use this embedded operating system. The example is embedded Linux, VxWorks, QNX. Now an embedded operating system is specialized software that helps control and manage the hardware of devices that aren't traditional computers. So basically it helps in managing the hardware of devices that aren't traditional computers like washing machines, microwaves or smartwatches. Now unlike general purpose operating system, like Windows or Mac OS, an embedded operating system is designed to perform specific tasks efficiently and reliably. The same thing which I told earlier that unlike the traditional ways of like using the computers and then using the operating system, we can use this embedded operating system designed to perform some specific tasks efficiently and reliably. So these are types of embedded operating system, real-time embedded operating system, standalone embedded operating system, networked embedded operating system and mobile embedded operating system. Now, Embedded operating system is basically used whenever we want to perform specific tasks, wherever the traditional computers are not being used, it can be used in cars, it can be used in washing machines and other places. This was all about embedded operating system. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're someone who is new to my channel, you can go ahead and watch out the tech content first. And if you find it useful, you can go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you have not followed me on my social media handles, you can go ahead and follow. The links are in the description. Till then, take care. Keep learning, keep growing, keep smiling. Bye all.